Hi everybody, my name is Marek Matuszewski and today I would like to show you one of the features I found in Arkist Map Visual for Power BI, which is infographics. Infographics is a feature which I've shown last time during my presentation at Power BI user group in Frankfurt. By the way, many thanks for Dominic Petri who invited me for that meetup. Um, that's Dominic. Thank you very much for the invitation and see you next time in Frankfurt. So the subject for today is infographics. Why is that so powerful? Let's check this out on my screen. We have here a report about earthquakes in all over the world. And in that particular view, uh, I filtered the values only for the United States. And how to get to that infographics feature in Argus Map Visual, you have to uh, go to edit that visual and choose infographics tab. And what you got here, you got here seven different categories, which are population, age, income, home ownership, presence of children, total educational attainment and marital status. So what you have to do is just simply um, choose a value you are interested in. For example, total population, children under 14, check my right screen, check the, the right side of the screen what comes up over here. And two more about maybe income, household income and maybe home value. So what we got here, we got here four different cards with those values I just selected. And um, here, there they are. And I can change the um, order of those uh, values, switch, uh, switch the, the order as I wish. And why is that so powerful? The power of that feature is that the values which we see here are the values which are um, dynamically calculated for the current view. So I can still uh, change here something, maybe instead of median home value, choose average home value, and instead of median household income, average household uh, income, and so on and so on. And have a look. I just zoom in uh, into the map, maybe Las Vegas, and the values are dynamically changing and are recalculating and are calculating the values which are shown just here on that screen. What you see is what you get, right? So let us uh, zoom a little bit more in Paradise, Las Vegas. Here we have airport. Here is the fountain of uh, Bellagio, one of the most well-known uh, casino fountains of Bellagio. Here is the uh, casino complex. And what we got here, the numbers. So here we have total population, only uh, 343 citizens uh, in that area and 33 uh, children. However, the average home value is a level of $350,000. And now I would like to see uh, how does it look like um, in, I don't know, maybe New York, Manhattan. So what I have to do, I have to zoom out again to whole Las Vegas. Here are the areas of earthquakes, but that's not the point of today. Maybe next time, if you would like to know uh, something about earthquakes uh, in America or all over the world, simply um, leave me a comment and I will post another video. But we come back to New York. And here is our Manhattan, right? Where it is Chinatown, Manhattan. Okay, and we see here in that particular area where we have Jersey City and um, Williamsburg, um, we have the total population at level of almost one half billion uh, people. And the average home value is at level of uh, $700,000. But as we zoom in into Manhattan itself more and more precisely, then we see, okay, the average home value increases at a level or at, to the level of $1 billion. And however, the average household income is at level at that particular area of uh, $128,000. Those data come from S3 and those data are from 2016. Um, well, that's the only um, disadvantage of that feature that it delivers us the, the data only from the United States. So I cannot wait when the data comes uh, in Europe. Um, however, I'm very, very impressed. It's just brilliant. Have a look. It's so fast. I just zoom out and I just got my values updated. 
Wow, it's cool. And under settings here, you can still change the uh, sample array of, po of uh, points, of uh, radius, of drive time, the distance in miles, feet, kilometers, as you wish, and compare demographics to country average, state average, or US average. So that's the only um, uh, the only resources which are given in S3 today. But still, don't forget, um, that's bad like you. <laughs> and don't forget, um, it's still developing and Arcis Map Visual itself. It's still in preview feature in Arcis uh, in Power BI Desktop. Uh, so don't forget to activate that feature under File Settings Options and then activate that feature because out of the box it's not uh, available. You have to um, switch it on manually. So that's it about infographics feature in Arcis Map Visual for Power BI. I had yesterday a call with one of our clients from the US and I showed the infographics feature and he was just amazed. And what do you think about the feature? Do you like it? Do you, what do you don't like it about it? Just write me a comment below. And as always, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. It motivates me a lot. And as always, have a nice day.